far we have been talking about storing data, SAS datasets. We discussed how to import raw data files into SAS datasets and perform different operations on them. We also discussed how to export the process data present in SAS datasets to standard format files. An SAS report is a representation of data present in SAS datasets in a structured and formatted layout, which is easy to understand and analyze. In the existing area of analytics, SAS is the most extensively used analytical tool, especially for enterprise report processing. A business report is the most important element for analysis and the decision support system of any business. A business report contains factual data and summarized figures which help higher level management to evaluate the growth of business and make decisions. SAS provides different predefined utility procedures to generate reports of different types from SAS datasets. Let us start this session by learning how to create a basic report. One of the commonly used statements in SAS is PROC print. We have been using this statement throughout our session to observe the output of our programs. Let us talk about the PROC print statement in detail. The PROC print statement is used to display the contents of a data set on the output screen. The syntax for using the PROC print statement is as shown. Here, SAS dataset is the dataset whose contents are to be displayed. VAR is an optional keyword used after the PROC print statement to view only selected variables from a dataset in the output. In absence of the VAR statement, all the variables present in the dataset will be displayed. Remember that in case you do not use the PROC print statement in your program, all SAS statements will work in the same way, but no output will be shown. In the example shown, the dataset patient is displayed in the output using the PROC print statement. We have selected only the variables age and weight from all the variables present in this dataset. You can observe that SAS introduces a column called OBS on its own in the output. You can also exclude this column from the output by specifying the noobs keyword after the dataset name in the PROC print statement. In the next screen, we will discuss the label statement. If you want to label a variable in a detailed and understandable manner, you can use the label statement. It assigns a temporary label to a variable that is shown in the output. The syntax for using the label statement is as shown. Here, the label to be assigned to a variable input is in single quotes. As an example, in the dataset patient, the variable weight is assigned a more detailed name as weight in KGS as a label. You can also observe the effect of the noobs keyword. In the next screen, we will discuss how to include titles and footnotes in a report. 